Now, Sheena, now when we talk about how uh, the feminist discourse is taken forward, we talk about also how criticism is becoming more and more aggressive. Why do you think that is? It seems like the more voices that are coming in favor of what the feminist struggle means, the criticism is also becoming more hardened. Do you feel like there's miscommunication on one end of what the goals and agendas are? Or do you think there's an insecurity from the other side which comes out in the form of harsh criticism? Yeah, I think when feminism as a theory, the theory began, um, in the United States anyway, it was very much a white-centered focus and very, um, it, it really dominated uh, what white feminism. And it's, it's really uh, evolved from that because now we're really looking at it from an intersectional standpoint, right? right? It is not just about gender. We are also seeing the intersection of our multiple identities, whether it's our race or our religion or our socioeconomic status. And so as it's evolving, its goals and um, tactics are changing too. When people don't know what those goals are, then they start to assume things. And I think that is where that is where the misunderstanding begins. And with misunderstanding, we start to see people really criticize where the movement is going. And so I think what we're really coming at it now is that bringing in, centering those voices that are being affected, but also making sure our allies are also standing by us and making sure that those voices are heard. Right. Now, Sheena, you mentioned at the beginning of this answer that for a very long time, the face of feminism was European or Western. Uh, as you mentioned, the voices seem to be very white in this conversation. But when we talk about it today, the global picture of feminism, do you think that phase has changed? Uh, or do you feel like that still is a dominant picture of it? Well, I think it's changed dramatically, right? When I watch some of the protests that are happening right now in India, they are led by women, right? When I, in 2017, when Women's March would, became a global phenomenon, it was women all around the world. So I do feel that we are embracing diversity and being more inclusive in the different races and um, ethnicities that are the centered voices of the movement. Right.